You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday. We are in Minnesota. It's our main event. Murat Gassiev, Jordan Schimmel. The winner of this fight will become the mandatory challenger to fight the winner of Saturday's title unification fight. It happens in Moscow between cruiserweight champions Denis Lebedev and Victor Emilio Ramirez. A lot on the line for this one as we go to the Corona Tale of the Tape. Murat Gassiev, nearly 30. Only 25 amateur fights. Schimmel, you can see here, an outstanding amateur career. He's got the reach advantage. Let's see if he can utilize that boxing move. Gassiev certainly has the advantage when it comes to power. Both fighters are in the ring. We get the official introduction from the one and only Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Black Bear Casino Resort here in Carlton, Minnesota, Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event. Live on FS1, 12 rounds in the Cruiserweight Division. The three judges ringside arm, Jerry Jacobko, Lawrence Layton, and Benny Nelson. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Mark Nelson. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the blue trunks trim with the silver. His professional record, 20 wins, 16 of those coming by way of knockout against one loss. Fighting and representing Hudsonville, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jordan Schimmel. Across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the white trunks trim with the red. As a professional, perfect. 22 bouts, 22 victories, including 16 of those by KO. Fighting out of Ladi Kavakaz, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, Nami Gaspadam presenting Morat Iron Gassiev. Marat, Jordan, you've already received my instructions in the dressing room. You both know what I expect. Please give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Marat Gassiev says tonight's important to him. He needs to look spectacular. He believes he's the one to bring some luster to the cruiserweight division. Jordan Schimmel says he wants to bring popularity back to the division becoming the American face okay. of the cruiserweight division. He says this fight, a game changer for him. Schimmel, the blue trunks. Gassiev, the white trunks, the red trim. This is round one. We are scheduled for 12. We all know Gassiev got a lot of power. You know what I mean? Jordan Schimmel has to box. He has to be moving at all times. And um, you know that I think that's the key for his victory. Yeah, Schimmel has to box. Use angles. Keep Gassiev turning. He has to throw more than one punch, too. Here's the there combination. As he doubled up with the jab. Gassiev wants to get in position, sit, plant, throw shots with a lot of leverage. Shimmel keeps him turning, using angles and boxing. Won't be able to sit and get those big shots off. I'd like to see Schimmel go up and down with the jab. Or jab to his head, two to the body. Give him a different look because eventually Gassiev is going to end up countering him, figuring him out. Yeah, Schimmel's going to have to sit down and. and, and with some power of his own at, 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 at points and times. He's going Frank, to pick and choose punch. when he needs to do that. Keep Gassiev off balance. But if he can box, and he, can, he has enough pop to get Gassiev's respect, he can outbox him. Well, Gassiev just missed with that right hand. And, you know, Chimo told us the game plan is obviously work rate. But pivoting, he says, I got to move. I got to box here. 
frustrate this guy. Gaff Diaz says his game plan, apply pressure, mentally, physically, the entire fight. Just stay in front of him at all times. There's a right hand by Schimmel. Both fighters fought Isaiah Thomas, an unbeaten cruiserweight. Shipman lost to him. He said, I had no excuses. I just got frustrated in that fight. Nerves got to me. It was my national television debut. Gassiev hit Thomas with a right hand, but it happened after the bell in the third round. The fight ruled no contest. Here's a left hook to the body by Gassiev. Yeah, that body shot we had bad intentions on. Schimmel's doing a great job, jabbing, moving out of the range. Oh, a big shot that dropped Schimmel! Green. And this fight is over! He's out. Stay back. Welcome back. This just happened moments ago. To the crowd's delight, Jordan Schimmel took off the oxygen, got up, on his own, acknowledged his father there and his grandfather. And then right after that, walked over to the corner of Marat Gassiev and shook his hand. Great sportsmanship. Yes. Yes. Let's take a look at this first round here, stoppage. Pretty sure it was a left hand. By Gassiev. Left hook. Yeah, left hook. Right there. Right there, right on right the on, chin. Right on the button. I was just talking about Schimmel, how well he's doing boxing and keeping right him from hand, his distance. Left hook. Missed with the right hand, came right back with the left hook. And, and how out. his head hit hit the canvas. Watch how his head hits the canvas after the punch. There. See, and that's why I tell fighters all the time, put shots together. You may miss with the first shot, bam, the second shot. Let's get the official time of this stoppage. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 54 seconds of the first round for your winner by knockout and remaining undefeated, Morat Iron Gassiev.